Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and I received another email from our friend and his name is Martin from France. Ooh, mentally good. And Martin said, hello Nelka, first I want to thank you because I learned a lot, blah blah blah. You're welcome Martin. And uh, please, I would like to know how to change the disposition of the floors in the Lux Evo. Okay, so disposition of the floors. That's too deep. Okay, for example, put the second floor instead of fifth floor. Ah, okay, so I think you want to arrange the floors. Okay, all right. As well, how to create a curved circular bar for a curved balcony, for example. All right, and another one is how can we do a learning leaning wall where we can put windows inside? <laughs> okay, all right, sorry for my English. No problem, thank you very much in advance. All right, so Martin, I prepared one file, Dialogs Ibo file for you tonight. So I have this old project. This is a villa project from one of a prestigious uh, community here in Dubai and um, your first question is how to arrange the, the floors um, I have first floor and second floor if you go to this tab so I have site tab building tab okay and then story tab. so if I go to the first tab you can see uh, this is my first story and then if I go to the second story this is the second story so if you're asking me to create um, I said uh, second floor instead of fifth floor for example you created the fifth floor and then you want to move it into the second floor then you need to delete those uh, floors in between but if you want to just create a second floor all you need to do okay I hope the first question the, the answer is correct um, but if you want to create a second floor, just go to this construction tab and then go to the store in building construction. And then uh, now I'm in the second floor and I want if I want to duplicate this one, I will just press this one. But if I want to create a new empty story, for example, if I duplicate, it will be just similar. The third floor will become similar to the second floor. But if I want to create a new empty story, then you can create a different one compared to this uh, second floor so if you want to learn more of this one how to do it go and check this video tutorial in my youtube channel how to create a second floor and maybe from this one you can i can answer your question properly and then if it's not clear you can send me an email again all right so for your next question um about the curve bar in a curved balcony so I have a cur uh, balcony here and if I want to put a bar here, all I need to do, okay, I cannot see my bal uh, yeah, here, it's here, the balcony is here. If I want to, for example, create a, a curved bar here, then all I need to do is go to the plan view and then either use the object tab and then I will say just draw the extrusion body here and I will just create curve one like this one if you have the CAD file all you need to do is just follow your CAD file layout and then close polygon and then put a height let's just imagine this is a perfect uh, bar and then okay because this one is heavy file now and I'm I open a lot of um, uh, software right now so now I have this bar so if this is the one you're saying, then it's easy. You just use that object and then extrusion volume. But if you want a very detailed bar, then you can just go and use the pick and planner. So how to use a pick and planner? Because there are so many 3D SketchUp file with amazing design of uh, curved bar. Go and check this video. And maybe you can... Uh, get a nice amazing curve bar in pecan planner so just check this video 3d objects using pecan planner and then uh, go and shop your amazing curve bar 
Okay, so your last question, which is a leaning wall, which in my understanding you're saying about it's an inclined wall. So for example, this wall will be inclined. So what I'm going to do, so I'll go to the story, uh, second story, go to the plan view. And for example, I will just go to this tab and then I will edit my wall so I can lean it. Okay, so I'm, okay, let me just... Uh, cancel the calculations so all right okay so i will just make it thin make sure that your um, wall is thick enough to create a leaning wall so now i, I, I made it thin, uh, thick so this is my wall and this is my interior um interior wall sorry where's my interior wall there you go this one okay so now when I go outside, you can see now that my interior wall is so thick. So what I'm going to do is I will use this cut out tool and then I will just go and cut it out to create a leaning wall. So just look at this one and I will do it now. So I'll press the polygonal cut out and I will just click somewhere here. All right, let me just click a proper one. I'll just click there and then maybe here oh it's recognizing the floor anyways and then I click there and then right click close polygon to make it precise just go to the front view this is the tab and then make it like this and then when you go to the 3d and when you go to any tabs now this is a leaning wall okay and then if you want to create um okay let's just make it more leaning so i'll just make it more uh closer to this wall all right and then if i for example create a wall or a window on this side so i'll just go and go to the uh, aperture tab go to the second floor and then i will say for example i will copy this one and then I will just position it here and then do like this. Okay, you can see now this wall, a window is a little thick. But if you go to the 3D, you can see now that, oh, look at that. That is my uh, window. It's also inclined. But if you don't like an uh, inclined window, then you need to make it straight. So how to do that? It's very easy. Just click this one, go to the elevation view, and then rotate it. And then you will have a straight. Uh, you just go here at the um, orientation. So I'll say rotate it in zero. And then you just need to move it. Go to this. And I think you need. we need to adjust the height of this window and then when you go and check now your wall sorry your window is now straight and you have a nice canopy here with that leaning wall all right so that's it martin thank you very much for your email and um see you again on the next video if you don't understand it just keep on watching this video or ask me another question all right see you again bye